Now with the cast of Percy Jackson and the Olympians bringing the popular book series to life on Disney Plus and joining us now from London are Walker Scobell, Leah Save Jeffries and Aryan Simhadri. Welcome guys. Good morning. Thank you Hi, so much. Thanks for having morning. us. Morning. Absolutely. Listen, I was a big, big fan of these books. I know that you were big fans of the books as well. Uh, but Walker, for people who aren't familiar with the story, uh, describe the show. Um, Percy Jackson and the Olympians is about a 12-year-old boy named Percy Jackson who goes on, who learns that he's a demigod, son of Poseidon, and goes on a quest to retrieve Zeus's master bolt before the summer solstice or the world will cease to exist. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a big deal. Kind yeah, of yeah big no deal. pressure. <laughs> right, my kids are really looking bit. forward to the show. <laughs> no pressure. And we have a clip. Let's take a look. Okay, so something's coming. Grover. And I know, that sounds really bad. Grover. But the important thing is not to panic. I'm not panicking. Grover? Right? I'm also definitely not panicking. I feel very good about how we're doing so far. Grover! What? Grover, why is there half a goat in your pants? Oh, it's... <laughs> so, so, Ari, and that's you in the clip there. What's it like to be part goat? That is, um, it's, it's a bit of a process. It's 45 extra minutes in the makeup trailer every day, uh, getting my ears and horns on. Uh, the guy who did those, um, the makeup effects guy, Mike, he was the best. And <laughs> during the first couple months of prep, I had to learn specifically how to walk like a goat. That was most of my stunt training. <laughs> Very important stuff, walking like a goat. But I do understand, uh, Ariane, oh, that yeah. you had some, um, some creative liberties, right? Some freedom in, in how you played your character, right? Yeah, it was, I think the best thing about having Rick there was he was able to ground the show in the books whenever, like we might've gotten a little too far off the path, but he also let us have our own take on the characters because a line for line copy of the books is just gonna get boring after a season or two. And so he let us kind of, you know, bring things that might've been kind of passed over in the books or just like taken at a first glance and really flesh them out, which is, you know, I think the biggest benefit of a, short, of a show format. And something tells me nothing is boring about you guys. Hey, Leah, uh, you've made Annabeth your own. Uh, what are you excited for people to see here? Um, I'm really excited for people to see how this really comes out. Well, obviously, but like, you know, um, I'm also like very, what the most thing that I'm really important for them to see is how I have change it to make it myself so people can also see me but also through the character Annabeth. Mm -hmm. I want them to see um, the vulnerability of her, the sensitivity of her, the emotions and the way how she's very strong, how she's very fierce and independent. I want them to see that I'm not changing anything. I'm just putting myself in. I'm just yeah. putting my appearance in, you know, and I want them to see how I've turned Annabeth into Lee Annabeth. <laughs> you know? Wow. Yeah, I love really that. excited to see this. And you guys are having a lot of fun. It, it sounds like traveling as well, like the trio does in the book. We're really looking forward to the show. We Thanks really so much are. for joining us. Thank you guys. So appreciate it. And Thank make sure you, you miss yeah. those first two episodes of Percy Jackson and the Olympians. Make sure to catch that premiere on Disney Plus Wednesday, December 20th. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day anytime we thank you for watching and we'll see you in the morning on GMA